man. This title is perfect. People that hate as soon as something gets popular. All these rage bait channels that we're farming on a daily basis, all they do is latch onto something trending. As soon as something insane happens, down down episode seven airs, right? Or a popular season ends, what do they do? I gotta make a stupid video complaining about why it's garbage. Then as soon as someone else actually gives the time to watch it and breaks down why they're wrong, they start crying, crying like little pussies. A portion of this video is sponsored by Google Pixel. Hey, you ever end up watching Superhuman? Oh yeah, I just finished it yesterday actually. Yes sir, bro. They just gave me animated series of the year. I was oh. screaming, like legit screaming. I heard my voice, everything. Hey, what would you rate it out of 10? I want to see if we rate it the same. Zero out of 10. It was alright. I gave it a 6 out of 10. Oh, 6. It was alright. Yeah. It was a cool little watch. A cool. Jordan, I introduced you to the show two days ago, and you finished it. There are 32 episodes, an hour long each. This is the same thing of like Steam video game reviews, where it's like, one out of five star review. Don't play this game. Garbage. Wasted time. And it shows 5,000 hours logged in. Want to see what happened next? No, no, no. This is beyond that. You watched 32 hours of content yep. over the course of 48. Why would you do that for something you thought was mid? I mean, you act like I said it was trash. Like you said it. You said it was a hype. That's worse than trash as far as I'm concerned. Mid, honestly, yeah. Sometimes mid is objectively better than trash because it's peak. Then mid is right in the middle. It's just average. It's all right. And then there's trash at the bottom, but somehow mid has been popularized so much where being mid is now perceived as being shittier than trash. What do you think they could have did to make it better? I don't know. The title? <laughs> the title of the show. Yeah. I mean, there was that guy who was genuinely upset at Don Da Don because the name was like, what the fuck is a Don Da Don? I'm like, come on, bro. You, you're, scrap, you're fucking grasping at straws to figure out what you can hate on. Yes, it sucks. Mm. Say something about the show itself, the mm. characters, scenes, set. That's right. Talk about the story. Give me talking points and examples from the show. Thanks. Even well, since you asked, I think they could have better character development. All right. Which character? How would you like for them to be developed? Because often these people who are doing nothing but getting carried by something trending and therefore saying something contrary and obviously gets a lot of negative engagement. They have no talking point. They just say it's trash because it's bad. And when you ask why, they say because it's bad. There's nothing talking about the show. And when they do, it's like they don't even understand the show and they make the stupidest conclusions based on misinformation. Mm. Which character? Which character, Jordan? You making me itch? All of them. Mm -hmm. Develop them. You don't even believe what you're saying right now. You... Didn't you say the characters were written masterfully the other day? No, I didn't. No, this was you. I completely forgot. Oh, receipt. The superhuman characters are written masterfully. Glaze. No, don't look away. Take accountability. What's wrong with you? Say you enjoy the show. I think you should just respect my opinion. It like, is your yeah, I, I, here's the funniest thing. When people say, bro, it's just an opinion. Well, here's the thing. I can call your opinion retarded, and that's my opinion. Everyone is free to say what they want. A lot of people don't understand like freedom of speech, like being able to say what you want. And suddenly, if they get backlash, they say, oh my god, I'm getting canceled. I can't believe people won't respect my opinion. It's like, no, brother. <laughs> You're free to say whatever you want. And other people are also free to shit on it if they think that it is stupid. This is just... <laughs> The definition of free speech. It's not, it's, this isn't something convenient where you get to say something and you're protected from all criticism or some sort of like, you know, hey, motherfucker, <laughs> you're putting yourself out there. It's like the Coliseum. Once you want to be there, once you want to be a gladiator, you better be ready to gladiate. Serious. You said Superhuman Shif Shoge Animation of the Year yesterday. Oh, that was. Um, there's this other way of, um, the exact opposite spectrum of, you know, just rage baiting is glazing, right? So there's two ways to get, you know, engagements. Obviously, the easiest way is negative engagement because negativity is way more of a visceral emotion than someone just saying just good things about it, right? 
that's the easiest and the cheapest way to get attention. Glazing also, right? I, to a lesser degree, a lot of people do enjoy like, oh shit, you agree with my opinion? You love this show like me? Perfect. And they can all, you know, glaze, glaze, glaze. That was, that was, I was talking about, no, get back. I hate you. I hate This portion is sponsored by Google Pixel. So I've been, bruh. Damn, half the fucking video is the ad read. Anyways, please go give Mr. Caleb City a like in the video. The Google Pixel ad, I don't think it's viable after 11 months ago, but hey, it is what it is. Here's the link. Here's the link. And I'll see you next time.